Hello everyone, and welcome back to Lingus Nation. It's been so goddamn long since I recorded a video. I'm sure Paradox has released some $600 DLC that adds, like, one pixel of red color to the, uh, like, Malakan infantry unit or something. Um, as is, as is the want of, of Paradox Game Development Studios. Just kidding, Paradox. I love you. Please re re release Europa Universalis 5. Um, but for now... Let's play the game we do have, which is Europa Universalis 4, as the good old, grand old Lingus Nation, which just lost our greatest leader ever, Richard, parentheses, Dick, close parentheses, Von Lingus, um, the second, I guess, although it wasn't, that, the second part wasn't actually included on her, on her official name. This episode, uh, we're apparently still at war with, it's been so long since I played this, we're still, we're at war with the Cherokee still, uh, which I guess means we're also at war with these guys. The shatter ass, yeah, that's right, that's right, guys. No, not worth shatter ass. Worth Ottawa. What the hell's Ottawa? Uh, it doesn't matter. Otherwise, yeah, our legitimacy is pretty low. We're gonna be doing some more colonizing. Um, maybe I'm thinking about a war with France. It's these such good, these are such good development provinces here. Um, uh, Austria could. Uh, Austria is just so hard because of the. Bohemia could we we could we could do Bohemia Bohemia, that would actually be not that would probably be easier than France. I think to to declare war in France we probably would want to attack Savoy and then maybe just take a couple of French territories because I really don't want to be fighting Castile. I'm gonna remind myself what our force limit is 140. Okay, and what is everyone else's? Ming and Ottomans the other ones who are bigger than us. Okay, well I think we need to recover a little bit uh, before we really do anything anything big. So, um, I will see you guys in a few years. I'm not sure exactly how long it will take, but we have a couple loans we, that I want to pay off. We're losing money, um, generally need to boost our legitimacy back up. Our manpower is pretty good, um, but I'll, I'll work things out before I do anything uh, serious here. So, last time I think we, we could could have taken this I the third quantity idea. Uh, I was, I believe, I was probably, because I'm such an intelligent person, I was saving... Uh, the military tech, so I could we could get uh, to military tech 19 to keep up, keep up with everyone. But I did realize that if we take um, this third quantity idea, then that would finish out this Lingusian idea, which would get us plus 20% trade efficiency, which would also reach our ambition, which is minus 20% land maintenance modifier. So I actually think uh, I actually think this is going to be worth it. Get like in one fell swoop, we like make start making a huge more uh, huge amount of money. Compared to what we were making before, so let's just do that. And I think the game says this when you when you open up the game, it says landman when like when it sorry when it when you reduce regiment cost, it also reduces maintenance. But I don't actually know if that's true, and it wouldn't. I'm not really sure why that would be true, since the next thing is actually land maintenance modifier minus ten percent. Uh, so who knows? It doesn't really matter. We will see now how much money we start making. Um, yeah, that just, like, out of nowhere just took us from losing 15 to gaining 8 about so far. I mean, money fluctuates so much in this game anyway, but that's that's pretty damn good. Anyway, see you guys soon. But uh, Johnson is back, baby. It's just an endless cycle of Johnsons and Richards. And a uh, your, uh, your Aachan every so often. That's good to see. Maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll give birth to another uh, a Richard, parentheses, dick, close parentheses. All right, brief update here. Our Lingus nation in America has now become a colonial nation, which is annoying, but inevitable. I know. Uh, so we will we will see how see how that goes, where that goes. Probably just continue along here. Um, not to Scottish Mexico. Are you kidding? How? What the? F <laughs> Scotland? What? Well, how? Uh, that's weird. Okay, that that's very strange. <clears throat> well. We may be coming to blows with Scotland at some point. Um, planning on just kind of doing the little uh, little thingamagai up here, all the way to Kakalaki, California. Kakalaki, I guess, is actually the Carolinas. We're going to California, then maybe down here to Midway Islands, Hawaii. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I mean, that's probably what we're going to have to do. Either, either that or like go all the way around up here, but that's a lot longer. Anyway, that was a little bit of tangent. Um, that's basically basically it for now. 
Okay, so a couple things going on here. First of all, we just reached uh, Admin Tech 19, I think it is, and we got to choose a new idea group. And it's basically a choice between defensive, offensive, and quality ideas. Um, we're just we're, we're ahead on military tech compared to our admin and Diplo, and military is like the best anyway. I'm not going to do quality ideas because of all the ship stuff, and I just don't care about ships. I don't like ships, and I don't like the ship mechanic, the whole naval mechanics in this game. I don't like. I don't like the way it fits into everything. I don't think it's that important, and we're not going to be using it that much. So between defensive and offensive ideas, it may seem like offensive is like the one we should be doing because we're going to be so offensive, but I, I, I really think defensive is generally better than offensive. I mean, this like just the plus fifteen percent morale uh, boost for armies is like incredible, but we have a huge amount of territory to defend, and that's like always our biggest problem is defending our giant swath of territory. Um, of course, the other thing we could do, of course, is uh, religious ideas, but we just don't, we can't afford, like, all the admin stuff. And our rebels are actually not that bad right now. So I think we're going to do defensive. And speaking of um, monarch points, goddamn institutions, it's still 1,700, almost 1,800 to buy right, or to embrace global trade right now. Much less than it started out at, like 4,000 or something. But uh, it's currently, currently, we're all, all of our provinces are, are getting it, but it's all happening pretty slowly. And I really don't want to sacrifice the development to boost the speed. Um, I mean, sorry, sacrifice the, the monarch points it would take to develop our provinces over here to boost the speed of, uh, or lower the price or whatever of institution embracement. So that's that's uh, that's pretty much it. And finally, I think our our great uh, our great opus in this video will be to declare war on Savoy, thereby also bringing in France. And yeah, that shouldn't be that bad. Um, Teutonic Order. No, let's see. None of the none of these people are really like a particularly big deal. And we can bring in. I know. Last time I checked, we could. I wouldn't have any diplomats right now. Last time I checked, we could bring in England. And I don't even remember who our allies are. Who are our allies? Oh, Denmark. So it would be maybe nice to bring in Russia. They might be a little far away. But they should... Denmark should be enough to help us with the little guys. And we do have a very large army compared to everyone we'd be at war with. Actually, let's just check on France's. France... Yeah, France's is pretty small. So that'll be a little bit. Um, but I will... Uh, I'll see you guys then. Alright. I think it's war time. This is going to be one of those wars that we might start off not doing too well in, but so Russia wouldn't join. It was actually 1515 positive negative, and then I used uh, I booted our boost strengthened our government, and they will now join. It's just 1615, so it's pretty close. Um, I know that that's not gonna like that wouldn't change, but I Russia bring Russia in is like huge. Um, I think their force limits about a uh, hundred should be 106. Yeah, and are they at war? I, no, they wouldn't be. Yeah, they're they're not at war, so they'll they'll be very helpful to us. It'll take them a while to get over to us, and meanwhile, that would uh, will involve bringing in let's see, Teutonic Order, Augsburg, Baden, Mantua, none of whom are a huge threat individually, but together they can be pretty annoying. Hopefully, they won't work together, and then Aragon, which is a little annoying. They have about 50 50k troops, and then France, of course, and. Let's see what France's troop count is at right now. 54,000 Aragons is at 46,000. France is in another war. Also, Savoy's army is not in their territory. How big is Savoy's army? I'd actually not pay attention to that. I cannot imagine it's that large. And here, 27,000. Yeah, so we have about 100,000 people over here. Um... I could bring this 14... I could wait. I'm going to wait until this 14, 14k guy gets over here. Unfortunately, our only other guy is all the way over in here. He's going to literally take three years to get back, so we're not going to... We're not going to bring him. Or we actually could... We could send him. But I think Manchurian rebels are going to pop up there at some point, so... We may have a little bit of a struggle uh, until Russia arrives with the, uh, with the artillery. But... Yeah, this is that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna wait for this 14k army to get over here. God damn it! I just formulated this great plan. Instead, 
of uh, moving our guys over by Savoy. We were going to keep all our guys over by France. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, move in and destroy what of what armies we could see, and then move over to Savoy. But now Russia won't come in because they're at war with war with Kurland, who I had not noticed even existed. So I think we're just going to wait for that to end. It's incredibly unfortunate. Um, very, very annoying because this is like perfect timing. Everything was, everything was going right according to plan. But no. So we are going to wait a little more. Hopefully not that long. It should be a pretty easy war. Curl. It's just Kurland and Riga and Siena, um, who is irrelevant. So yeah, that, that should be pretty fast. Crossing my fingers. Come on, Russia. All right, people. Utter change of plan. Russia is getting their asses kicked because Lithuania was actually guarding, or whatever, Kurland. Um, so Russia is, Russia is actually losing that war. They're not doing that great. They might come back, but I'm impatient. And Austria became the emperor, which means Bohemia is not the emperor anymore, and Austria hates Bohemia, which means we can declare war on uh, Bohemia without bringing in Austria. We can bring in a bunch of little crappy guys, and Scotland, who's not that great and probably won't do anything. But the best part is, um, we are... What, what, what did I... We're gonna go it alone. Where is my Casas Belly? Other than Humiliate Rival. I literally just fabricated a, cor a claim. On, excuse me. Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, we're go we're going this war alone. There's no one else who will do it with us. England's a cock. Denmark, flooding against Sweden as is their want. Russia is uh, Russia's being Russia, and I think this is basically basically what we're gonna do. We have um, a little less than 150,000 guys over here. That's definitely more than all of the people we're fighting combined. And let's go ahead and do it. Conquest is uh, for Fradeco right here. Just going to move in these guys here. Move these guys in here. Move these guys right there for safety for a little bit of backup. And Bohemia's already going over there. Do we cut them off? Oh, you know, you're running away. We can't cut them off. Never mind. Uh, but could we chase them? Do they have... They have a zero maneuver man. We have a no generals, or no accessible generals, because our guys are in their territory. Our army tradition sucks. For some ungodly reason. Look at that guy. Look at him. Get out of here. I don't need that. Uh, I guess I... No harm in keeping him. What have I done? Oh, shit. Did I just... Fuck. Okay, that that's alright. Uh, yeah, we'll deal with this guy later. I don't know where he's going. Probably maybe up here. Teutonic Order is already in there. Ooh. Bohemia. Already in a nice little army over here, which we will summarily take care of. Um, hopefully. Please. Yeah. That'll be, that'll be easy. Maybe even... Oh, they're running away! No, don't run away, you bastards! Get a good leader. Lots of maneuver. Not that much maneuver, but it's alright. Uh, okay. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, alright, alright. Um, move in here. Mm, you're already locked in there? God damn it. That was just too fast. You're gonna have to go all the way around? Ugh! I hate fort mechanics. I hate forts. Forts should not be a thing. Savoy has insulted us. Will we? Did I just split the army? Fuck. Will we beat this guy? I don't know. I'm gonna slow it down from five. That was just way too fast. Yes, please come in here, Teutonic Order. That's nice of you. Yes. Oh, this is a little closer than I expected it to be. Oh, Trier, you better not get over there. Oh, you need someone. You need someone, and you're gonna get over here. That's gonna be too long. 16 guys. Oh, that's not good. We lost. Are you joking? God damn it. You fucking kidding me? Rent Condo Thierry. Um, eight, and... Oh, look. Estimated cost zero. Uh, zero up front. Sure. I don't see why not. That was a little bit of an unfortunate battle. But, uh, you take what you can get. I can't believe we're still doing exploration ideas. Do I really... I do, it's not important right now. <laughs> I might even... I could even cancel that at some point. But right now, let's not get utterly destroyed. Um, so I'm gonna need to keep, protect these guys. I don't know where these guys are going. There goes a huge amount of our manpower. And, let's see, Denmark. That's fine, I don't care about that. Alright, you're there. That's alright. That was super annoying. Rent Condottieri. No, loan offer. 
65 bucks. East Frisia. We don't have to pay it back. Uh, is that a diplomat? Is that a faux pas? I don't know if that's a faux pas. Um, we don't need that money. Thank you. We are going to raise war taxes. I forgot to do that. Because that's going to be very important. Um, yeah. That's, that's fine. This may have been a terrible idea. May have been an exceptionally terrible idea. Um, but there's not really much we can do about it now, is there? Alright. Uh, so there's a lot going on here. <laughs> These guys are moving in all sorts of directions. Um, I'm moving this 28k guy up to attack the guy sieging Krakow. Not sure what's going on with the 71. I guess we'll just move these guys in here together. Uh, are you... God damn it, you're not gonna make it. Uh, should I... I'm just gonna put these guys together. It's crippling. Truly crippling manpower, uh, situation here. Very bad. Very, uh, very unfortunate. These guys have no maneuver. Ooh, do we do this? Do we do we let these guys heal a little bit, or do we put them in there? I want them to get it because we have such a, our army is so much bigger than it than it looks. Now they're running away. Well, actually, that's good. If these guys run away, then I can get All right. You moved in there. That's perfect. Loan offer from Lubeck, two hundred sixty-five. Sure, Lubeck. I'm not going to pay that back, but I'll take it. And now, we are going to cut these little, little rat bastards off in Tarnov, right? These guys have, these guys do have maneuver. Those guys do have no maneuver. This is actually going to be a better fight. Because I think we're going to have to cross the river either way. So there we go. That should be pretty easy. Um, right? Please, hopefully. These guys do have, how did you get over there so quickly? God damn it. Could still win. Could still win. Teutonic Order, I swear to God. This is where the Lingusian manpower really needs to shine through. Really. I mean, morale. How did we lose that? Our morale was up. Are you kidding? This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, we need some... We should really get some... Uh, mercenaries. God. Damn us all. Damn the torpedoes. Where are you going? Stability drop. Johnson has taken over. Freeziel has uh, is our new heir. That's that's fine. You're not going to go all the way down there. Okay. We need what do we need? Like sixty-five thousand manpower people. Boy, this was interesting. Um, lots of uh, lots of curious stuff going on here. Not good, but curious. Everyone moves so goddamn fast. It's incredibly annoying. Okay, should I... Should I... Yeah, these guys are all... Jesus. Consolidate. I'm gonna consolidate some guys. That's actually a huge amount of guys. Right? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, that's... Actually, wasn't that much. Um... What other armies do we have? This guy... I'm gonna move... I'm gonna bring this guy all the way over. He's gonna make... This is the true long march. All the way across the goddamn world. Maybe he'll be of some help to us... Help to us in, like, two years. Okay, I'm gonna do more... A little more consolidating. Um, let's see. Consolidate. Consolidate. There are shortcuts that I should be using for this, but I am not. Because I don't know them. Alright, and now we're gonna build a lot of mercenaries. But we are going to create a template of mercenaries. It should be pretty good. Just like that. Template name one, two. And of course it's decided to use all these provinces around here instead of just... Ugh, that's really annoying. Um, I think it might be worth it to just cancel these. Of course they're all cannons. It's just so like... God damn it. That's super annoying. All right. Cancel, cancel. These guys are all just going to get destroyed. Even down here, that's super annoying. Um, I guess I could make these... I can make a full one over here. I don't have enough money. Uh, we need to take out a loan. Alright, no more losing battles. We're on the march here. I These guys should not be all stacked together. But I'm going to take care of the small guys first. Move on to the big guys. That's going to be our policy. Uh, Teutonic Order. Let's stop them from sieving Podolia. Please, before they... Yes, they're running away. Nice. Um, 
Okay, won a couple of battles. War score not doing too well. All right, we're going to crush these guys. Maybe even a stack wipe. Maybe not even a stack wipe. All right. Now, the question is, where do we go? And because I'm bad at this game, I don't know exactly what we should do here. Should we go for Bohemia? We should we should at least take their... They've sieged so, so many of our goddamn provinces. Um, yeah, we, we should at least take the war goal to boost up the... Uh, Boost up the, the the war score a little bit. Just having a hundred thousand guys traveling together is not exactly ideal. But our army our army is like so good. I mean, like our manpower recovers so quickly and the re it reinforces so quickly. Are we at war with this person, Liege? I don't think so. Okay, you just get up there, go there. These guys camp here. I'm just gonna leave our whole army together here. Who's with us here? Oh, Liege. Liege is following us around. Oh, is that the... Did, did we get the uh, the guys from them? The Condottieri? Possibly. We could just go up and occupy... It. See, this could be... It might be advantageous for us to occupy Teutonic Order entirely and get them out of the war and just kind of, like, pick off people like that. It's going to be a very, very long war in that if we, if we do that. Okay, so we occupied the war goal. Let's go for Teutonic Order. That's what I think the name of the game is. They're sieging a lot of our territory, um, but, I mean, the enemies generally. But I think it will be, uh, I think it'll be good to get Teutonic Order out of the, out of the, out of the war. Because they have, what do they have, like 30,000 guys or something? Um, can you take any of these provinces? No. I'll move you over to Wizna at least, right? Is that, is that strategic? Stop, stop, stop. No, don't move. They, like, leave the cannons here and take everyone else? Oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave them here. Shouldn't be getting that much, uh... Whatever this is called. Uh, they're getting a little bit. I, I completely, like, forget how to play this game. Coldest period of Little Ice Age. Oh, no, Norway. Whatever will you do? Uh, yeah, I am gonna split these guys up a little bit. Uh, no, just go right there. You can't go there. Oh, you're running away already. Okay, 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 let's see. Yeah, let's just lose 25 admin power. Move you out of there, is that gonna hurt us? Not by that much, that's fine. And hopefully, we will uh, be a little recovered by the time we have to actually go and fight Bohemian, the Bohemian armies. Both of those battles we had with them were so goddamn close. It would just have been so big if we had won those. Siege of Paris is over. You're sieging us quite quickly. I don't think, like, any of my forts are upgraded. Which is a little unfortunate. Start occupying a bit of Bohemian territory here. Can you go there? Kalis. I assume this is Kalish in Poland. I actually have some friends who are uh, whose family stems from there. Okay. Um, yeah, we had we're we're losing a lot of war score here. <laughs> who? You got to think about the biggest threats. After Bohemia, it's definitely Teutonic Order. Scottish Brazil. Scotland. Has Scotland actually shown up? Doesn't look like it. That would be pretty bad if they did. Teutonic Order does have 30,000 30, guys at least. So yeah. If you could just... Okay, yeah. Go see Konigsberg. <sighs> God damn it. Just take a uh, comb. You bastards. <laughs> what is the, what is the like, hold up here? I play a little risky and go and siege Volhynia. Uh... Bohemians do have an army over here, which is a bit annoying. Is it too late to call Russia in? I don't think we would be able to anyway. War score is less than 25, yeah. That's annoying. I, don't, I, think, I think they have so much debt that they wouldn't join anyway, but I'm not sure. Okay. This is risky. I don't like splitting our guys up like this. <clears throat> Yes, please continue raising war taxes. Uh, so we're just gonna... I'm gonna have to keep very close watch, because if these guys start moving at all, um, these guys are coming out of Volhynia. And they're moving. Uh, which way are they going? They're going south. Okay. They're sieging past. That's fine. Doesn't matter to me um, that much for now. Could just take... Could just get Teutonic Order out of the war. You're still high. Although you are... They are losing... So I think the Siege of uh, Konigsberg should 
turn things around a little bit. Fuck, we just lost a battle. We just lost a battle. God, I did not see those guys. Oh, that's so annoying. Are these guys moving up? Where are you guys going? I don't like what's happening here. I wish you would just take Kalish. Oh yeah, they're moving up for there. They're moving up. Uh, da, 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 da. Are you guys going to attack? Yeah, we need to abandon Volhynia. Try to help the guys in Konigsberg up there, because I know that's where Trier is going. Maybe not. It's too late now. Uh, are these guys going to win this battle? Why did they Why did they decide to declare that war? Where are you going? All the way over there. Oh my god! Our guys from Manchuria have, have shown up all of a sudden. Oh my god, what good timing. I mean, no timing would be bad timing. Also, can we talk about how unlucky we are? Literally never. Never under, like, it always has to get to at least to 64% before we get the siege. And yeah, we're still losing this battle. That's, that's really annoying. Um, I don't really understand how that's happening. But it did happen. Okay, you stop there. Everyone else come back up here. <sighs> We're so close. So goddamn close. Um, okay. Siege of Pest, that's fine. Let's keep these guys over here. What, these guys also lost a battle? What's going on here? Oh no, never mind. Siege of Kalish is over. Fucking finally. Okay. Teutonic Order, you're not getting away with this. I swear to God. Someone just died. Where are the Teutonic Order? They're right there. Oh, can we get there? I'm gonna wait till they're locked in. And then move in there. Shit. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. This guy has no leader, of course. These guys all have incredible leaders. Ah, this game is so goddamn hard. Actually, you know what? We don't need to worry about the Teutonic Order's army. Just need to worry about taking their territory. Um, meanwhile, could we... How's this guy's leader? Could we get a good leader is the first question. With our terrible but getting better army tradition. Yes, we could. Let's see if we can uh, take care of this Bohemian army down here. With the guys we have. I think it's a possibility. It's unfortunate that we had to abandon a couple sieges. Um, going back to Konigsberg. So much to keep track of here. I might actually have to cut this video off. Um, in the middle of the war. War exhaustion is getting high, of course. Get in there. Um, you. I'm going to give you this guy with at least some good maneuver. If nothing else. I wish... Oh, we could move in here. Let's do that. We'll have... We'll have... Basically, max morale by the time the war starts, please, hopefully. Come on. How did we not beat them there? Yes, please come attack me here. Wow, our morale did not go up from very much there. All right. We should be able to win this battle. These guys are totally freaking out. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on. Okay. This might be the fall of Lingus, guys. I made a rash decision here. I've not been paying attention to these guys at all. Okay, Teutonic Order, will you, like, get out of here? Please? Like, even, are you even close? Oh, you will. You will. We have some, we could take some land from them, of all things. Are you serious? Do I want to do that, is the question. <laughs> take some of these damn land. No, we do not want to do that. We're going to take money. Uh, wait, what? Uh, yeah, here we go. All right. Get these guys out. Um, take transfer trade power. We vassalize them. No, we could not. We could make them release Poland. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, uh, just as calm. <sighs> wow. Um, yeah, we could do that. No, that's we can't do that. Sorry. We also can't take. What? Why? Why do we have so much war score here? Because of war reparations? No. What else did we do? Have them break their alliance with Bohemia? Yes. Um. Oh, you won't do that? We do it now? We do it now? We do it now? Yes, you will. Okay. I think that's what we're going to do. Peace out, Teutonic Order. Goodbye. One little thing to worry about. Thank you very much. 
Move these guys. Uh, let's see. We're still having a little fight down there. I'm going to move all of our guys down this direction. <clears throat> and we are actually going to have to cut this video off before... Did we just stack wipe that army? Oh my god, we did. That's incredible. I think it's time to, uh, to make our great resurgence. And this is going to be a very long resurgence. Or we could just take Bohemia. Well, Bohemia, their whole army's over there. I think we're going to do that. Just kind of a, an eye for an eye thing here. Um, let's just take... This is their capital, right? Let's just move there. I'll split up the army once we get there. Not even that... It's not even going to take that long. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Something's probably happening in, uh, in America, in the New World. Oh, no. Huh. I figured we were possibly... Oh my god, what? Why are we... How are we occupying Scottish Mexico? <laughs> what the hell? Are our Cherokee uh, vassals doing that for us? That is, that is very strange. That, that is, that is too weird for me. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're going to cut off the video here. This might be a very long video, but this is to make up for um, a few weeks of no videos since the holidays and everything. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode where we truly, truly, actually make a real resurgence against these bohemian rats. Goodbye.